Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently Monday the 20th of December 2021 which means this is the final full week of the year and this vlog will cover Christmas as well. Very exciting. I'm currently reading The Patchwork Girl of Oz by L. Frank Baum. Um, probably on course for a 3.5 out of 5 but we'll see it might it might it might improve towards the end um, but it's been one of the more sort of so-so books in the series um not sure what i'm going to read after that i mean i've got a bunch of mr men books actually that i got on ebay so probably those but i have to figure out which ones i've read and which ones i haven't so that's coming in a bit um nothing really planned for this week so i'm pretty much just chilling at home trying not to get covid before i go and visit my parents um so I think, I mean, it's the 20th now. I think I said I'm traveling on the 23rd. So yeah, it's Monday now and I'm gonna go on the Thursday and then I'll come back the following Monday, the 27th. Um, Cause I can't leave Biggie for too long. Although my friend Dave's gonna check on him. So that's where we're at. It's also quite early in the morning, especially for me, it's 9.35 AM. I'm not normally awake at this time. I know I'm just gonna go and crack on with being productive. Dane reads. Hello, it is later in the afternoon of the same day, it is ten past two. Um, I forgot to mention in my last reading the wrap up bit, I also read this, The Collected Sto Short Stories, Roald Dahl. Uh, I'll give it a four out of five. I do think it's misleading because it's not all of his short stories. Uh, so it's an omnibus volume containing Kiss Kiss, Over To You, Switch Bitch, Someone Like You, and Eight Further Tales of the Un Unexpected. Now of these, I'd only not read Kiss Kiss and Eight Further Tales of the Unexpected. Did enjoy both of them though, both solid four out of fives. I've been really enjoying reading Roald Dahl's shorts of fiction recently, so it was nice to get to this as well. Um, but yeah, I do feel as though it's been a little bit mismarketed. And now I'm just coming to the end of the Patchwork Girl of Oz, and then after that, I've been looking through the new Mr. Men books that I, I got in the post. So this is a little stack of ones that I've not read before. So that's five Mr. Men books here to read. And then I'll probably read Lair by James Herbert. Um, but I have other news as well. So even though I haven't slept and I'm very tired, I have been doing a bit of a project. So I've been painting this red border. Made a little oopsie there and cover that up. So that's how far I've got at the moment. The next bit, that corner, that's the staircase there. So I've got this extendy, that's a, a paintbrush on a stick basically to do that corner. And then I've got up there to do as well. Um, the vinyl is just about low enough. I think that I can probably get over to it. The problem is, there's all that stuff there. So I've done up to there, I mean, could I stand on this table? Will it take my weight? I think that's gonna take my weight. Okay, we're on camera here. On camera test. Okay, it did, it did take my weight. Just about. Okay, update, I have done the scary part above the stairs. There is a little bit of spillage onto the roof, um, but I should be able to fix that with another paintbrush on a stick. Just chuck some white paint on it. Go over there. I also went over the lines a bit in that corner too. But mostly done now. Hello, it is me. It is five to eight on the evening of Tuesday the 21st of December. I finished my red stripe. Look. Oh, hang on. It'll be easier if I do it this way around. Here we go. Do, 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 do. So yeah, that's all done. I've also today cleaned out um, behind uh, sorry, beneath my stairs. Although I did realise one of the jobs I need to do is I need to paint my stairs. They are black. They just need an extra, a new coat of black around them. Black paint smells horrible, and I imagine my cat will get on it. <laughs> Biggie's actually got red paint on his tail. Where is he? He's around here somewhere. Don't ask me how he's managed to do that because the red is on the ceiling. So how the hell did he get red paint on his tail? I do not know. Yes. Anyway, reading-wise, I finished reading The Patchwork Girl of Oz by L. Frank Baum. It was a 4 out of 5, but a weak 4 out of 5. Um, I'm now reading The Lair by James Herbert, which is the sequel to The Rats. I'm about halfway through that. I'm enjoying it. I haven't tabbed it out too much, but part of that is because I don't really feel like doing any, any James Herbert reviews because in my most recent one, somebody left an aggy comment, and I'm just like, Ugh. He's one of those authors who apparently has fans who... 
are dickheads, you know. Um, I also have read some Mr. Men books. So I read, these are all by Roger Hargreaves, all 3.5 out of 5. Mr. Chatterbox, Mr. Nosy, Mr. Daydream, Mr. Small, Mr. Greedy, and Mr. Sneeze. So those are all ticked off. Um, my cleaners now coming round uh, on Thursday, 2.30 p.m. on Thursday afternoon. So she's here for three hours, so she'll finish at half five and then I'll immediately head to my mum's house and probably get there between eight and nine-ish, uh, which isn't too bad, I can cope with that. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna read while I'm away, actually. I don't know, we'll see. We keep on just cracking on with James Herbert, to be honest. So after Lair, I have Domain, which I previously owned but hadn't been able to read um, because I hadn't read the Lair. Uh, and then up there I've got Shrine and Fluke as well. So I've got both of those. Um, and then I, th I think I need to get Creed as well. Is it Creed? Because I've got Ash, Ghost of Sleeth up there. So I think Creed. Oh no, Haunted. Haunted is what it is that I need to get. Um, so yeah, on my next little bit of book shopping, I need to get House Carino by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. Haunted by James Herbert. Serve Cold, edited by Regina St. Clair. The next Asterix book, and then um, Emma's new book, Emma, uh, Emma Rosen books here on Booktube. She's got a new book about self-publishing, so I wanna read that. Um, and I also, I'm gonna need to order some more Oz books as well. I only have the next one lined up. I think that's all I've got for you, really. I'll make some soup later, we'll see. And obviously I'm just cracking on with work, doing the usual stuff. Hi, Biggie. Do you know what we're gonna do today? Do you know what we're gonna do? We've got a very exciting video planned, haven't we? Yo, it is 11 a.m. on uh, Wednesday the 22nd of December. I've just done a COVID test, so if I sound weird, it's just because I've just had a swab up my nose and in my mouth. Um, but hopefully that comes back clear, because if I am COVID positive, that kind of puts a dampener on Christmas, because I guess I'll just be st stuck self-isolating. Went to the supermarket earlier and got a few bits. Oh, I don't know if I've shown you this, but one of the other little decorating jobs I did. So I painted over there on that shelf, and I've started, that's my little collection of house plants now. So that's nice. I'm actually gonna, that feathery thing there, I'm gonna mount on the wall behind it. Um, the other news is that today I got Biggie's DNA test results back, so I've actually shot a video where you get to see my reactions as I look at the tests and kind of work through the results and stuff. So that's coming soon. Um, so I'm not gonna tell you what his breed and stuff is, because you'll have to watch the video if you wanna find out, but um, it kind of ties with what I suspected as well, so that's cool. Um, I've also been reading some more, well I've been watching the Mummy movies as well, so I'm currently watching the fourth one, which is the reboot, so I watched the original three. Um, I don't know, they're just good old, um, what do you call it, like nostalgic viewing for me I guess, apart from the new one obviously. I'm still reading uh, The Lair by James Herbert, but it's still good, probably like a four out of five, although I haven't had much out. And I have also read a bunch of, uh, well, I finished reading through what I had of the Mr. Men books by Roger Hargreaves. So I read Mr. Nonsense, Mr. Tall, Mr. Muddle, Mr. Jelly, Mr. Lazy, Mr. Impossible, Mr. Wrong, Mr. Skinny, Mr. Funny, Mr. Bounce, Mr. Busy, Mr. Quiet, Mr. Strong, and Mr. Fussy. So I'll just give each of those pretty generic 3.5 out of 5, but I am glad that I've read through those. I'd like to eventually read through the whole series of both Mr. Men and Little Miss, so that's why I've just been picking up the odd job lots when I see them on eBay. Still no results on my COVID test yet, just thought I'd have a little look at that. So yeah, up next I think I'm going to read Domain. Um, I'm just going to be doing some cleaning bits and tidying and stuff today before I head uh, head home for Christmas. Uh, I don't have a huge amount on my list though, so... So uh, I'll probably actually work through my to-do list here in a minute and just update it all. 
because I can put some stuff that I'll just do when I get back um, so I'm just focusing on what needs to be done before I go and then I can get that done easily enough today and as I say the cleaner's coming tomorrow and then once she's finished I'm literally heading straight home which means that when I get back it should be nice and clean here which is very exciting um, I think that's all I've got for you today greetings everybody it is currently what is it come on 6 35 p.m. on Christmas Day so December 25th um, it is a Saturday I think I am in this is my old bedroom that I grew up in so I'm just lying on my bed as you do oh I should probably I don't know what angle to be at there we go that's that'll do all right so yeah apologies if the lighting's a bit weird it is what it is it's a green room so it's making my face look very red although maybe that's just what my face looks like I don't know so let me think um, well I was just doing the same old same old really being uh, productive getting a bunch of work done before I came here um, my cleaner came on Thursday so she gave the house a clean and then I pretty much left as soon as she'd finished so it does mean that when I go back home my house should be nice and clean my friend Dave is um, checking in on the cat while I'm away so uh, yeah I came here uh, so this is the Midlands uh, town called Tamworth which is where I grew up uh, it's near Birmingham in the UK and um, yeah I came here on Thursday the 23rd uh, got here about 8 30 p.m. something like that um, and just had a few beers and then went to sleep uh, then Christmas Eve yesterday um, I went to meet my dad at a pub called the Riftswood um, so my dad was there my stepmom uh, my stepbrother and stepsister my stepsister's kid um, and then like a few other family friends and stuff people who I kind of vaguely knew and a lot of people I'd never met before um, but that was nice I had some food there and uh, yeah I had a few beers and stuff just chilled with them came back home and then pretty much went straight to bed I had one more beer when I got in and then went to bed had an early night then got up about 8 30 a.m. today um, open presents with my mum so I got some cool stuff lots of clothes um, lots of exciting stuff for the house like down to some new towels um, in that are red to go with my uh, sort of color scheme so um, yeah that's very exciting uh, I got a vinyl um, so of a streets album Mike Skinner um, excellent stuff I got uh, Billy Summers by Stephen King as well so that's good I'll be able to read that soon possibly even on my way home and uh, yeah lots of other cool stuff it was very nice very nice little morning so I opened some presents with my mum then we went to my grand's and then we went to uh, a pub called The Beaches in Ashby de la Zouche. Um, so that was good, the service there was really good, the food was quite good. Um, the main portion was quite small for me, um, like the vegan main, but then they did a load of extra veggies for me so that was all good. Um, and uh, yeah, just had a nice little three course meal, then went back to my, my grand's for a bit. Um, and then we've just headed home, so we're just sort of settling in to watch a bit of TV now. Um, I have been catching up on posting all of my reviews to uh, Goodreads, because I have like this huge backlog of reviews. Um, so I'm trying to catch up with all of those, um, which I'll hopefully do before I head home. So that's all good. Um, so I've got like lots of writing and reviews to do as well, but I'm, I'm getting through them now. I'm not far off having uh, all of those done. Um, what I will say is I've been reading The Shrine, no, Just Shrine by James Herbert. I was reading Dominion, which was the third book in the Rats series, and I accidentally left it at home. So <laughs> I've got that waiting for me when I get back. So I'm like, I was, I was about a third of the way into that, and I was really enjoying it as well. Um, probably on par with the original Rats book, because there's, there's all this like nuclear Armageddon sort of plot line to it as well. But yeah, Shrine is more about like this, this girl, um, in this like small village in England she kind of starts to channel the spirit of the Virgin Mary and all these miracles are going on except there's a dark side to it as well and what I think is really cool about this is Herbert's really captured like what people's reactions would be so you've got like all of the faithful like flooding there to try and get cured and stuff like that but then you've also got people like trying to take advantage of it trying to turn it into the next Lords and all of this stuff so um, yeah it's like quite an interesting little commentary I guess so I'm about 80 pages from the end of that, I'll probably finish it tomorrow um, and it's on course probably for a week, four out of five 
And then I'm probably going to read Fluke, also by James Herbert, because it's only about 170 odd pages long, so I can get through that quite quickly. So I'll probably read Fluke next. Um, and then with me I've got TikTok of Oz by L. Frank Baum. Um, although that was really just as a backup because um, I'm not supposed to start reading that until the week after next uh, as part of my buddy reads with Joel Swagman. I've also got Alias Grace by Margaret Atwood um, and then I've got this new Stephen King that uh, Billy Summers so I'll probably read Billy Summers. So I think the plan is finish reading Shrine, probably read Fluke, I might even finish that before I leave if not I'll start it on the way home and then I guess read the Stephen King. The problem is, is then I kind of wanted to get back to uh, the domain when I get in. So I don't know, maybe I'll st I might start reading Alias Grace instead. Because I'm not as bothered about that if I read a bit and then put it down and then pick it back up again. In terms of my current reading as well, I had a look at it. So I'm, um, I think I'm on 22 books currently reading. So, yeah. If I read Fluke and Dominion, I guess it puts me down to 20, but then back onto 21 with that Stephen King. And also I've got an Amazon voucher for Christmas off my gram, which is very nice, um, because it's also time for me to order some new books. So I'm gonna get Emma Rosen's new book on uh, self-publishing. Not that I think there's that much I can learn from it. I mean, maybe I will learn some stuff, we'll see, who knows. Um, but also just to support her and stuff as well, you know, so I'll be getting that. Um, and the first of the David Ash books that are a series that James Herbert did. I'll get House Carino as well, which is the next in the June series. So I've got a lot of series books that I want to kind of pick up. Uh, and I also need to order some more Wizard of Oz because I've only got TikTok of Oz and then that's it. So I need to stock up on those bad boys. So that is where we're at. I'm going to go back downstairs in a minute and watch some Home Alone 2 with my mum. I'm also going to try and do some uh, reviews while I'm here because I've got three reviews left to do as well. So uh, try and catch up on the filming here and then I can do some editing when I get home. Greetings, it is me. It is currently Boxing Day. It's about half one. 1.35pm. Uh, my granddad's coming over at 2.30 so we're having like a buffet lunch. It'd be nice to see him. My mum's been sorting out all of the food bits because she's going back on her diet once I leave tomorrow so I have to take all of the food home with me which is which is fine, gives me lots to eat when I get back. Um, did I, I think I did update you yesterday so there's not too much to say. I've been reading, finishing off Shrine, um, I've literally at the end now, I think I've got five pages left or something. Uh, four out of five but a weak one. Um, it's an interesting one because it takes a while for you to even realise that it's a horror novel because it's a, sort of a slow build. Um, and then, I don't know, I didn't much like like the explanation for all of the weird stuff going on. I, I thought that could have been done better, but overall it was still a good read and some great characterization. I got this bad boy for Christmas, Billy Summers. But I'm actually going to read Fluke by James Herbert next. Um, and then I might read TikTok of Oz early. The reason being... I don't really want to start reading Billy Summers because I'm like a third of the way through Domain by James Herbert, um, which is back at mine because I forgot to bring it. So I kind of want to pick that back up when I go home. I've also been formatting and posting all of my reviews on Goodreads and I, it's so annoying. I'm two, so my Goodreads goal is one book for every day of the year, 365, and I'm two books behind counting this as finished. So. I mean, if I read Fluke and TikTok of Oz today, I'd be bang on target, which probably isn't going to happen, to be fair. So I think I'm going to finish my year, like, three books behind the goal, which is kind of annoying, but, you know, I'm not too worried anyway. Um, but yeah, it's been good to kind of do all that. It also means, I think I'm currently on 24 books currently reading, although when I add King, that'll put me back onto 25. Um, but that's nice because I, I want to kind of keep that low. I kind of want to get that below 20 if I can. Um, I also got an Amazon voucher for Christmas and it's one of those where you scratch the, the stuff off to reveal the code and when I scratched the stuff off the code came off with it. So I need to get in touch with Amazon to get that fixed. Um, but yeah, I'm going to use that to buy a few books. So that's very exciting. Um, but again, that's going to push me, push me back up and I'm due to buy my books for the end of the month anyway. Um, but yeah, it is what it is, and uh, just cracking on with being productive, thought I'd do a bit, bit of quick filming here, and uh, yeah. 
Greetings! It is um, 7 p.m. on Monday the 27th of December 2012. I am back at my house. I'm currently not wearing any trousers because I've been doing some painting. I've been painting behind that armoire. So I didn't want to get any paint on me so I just took my trousers off. This t-shirt already has paint on it and it has this weird stuff up here. I don't know what that is. I think that's black paint. Anyway, so I figured it didn't matter too much. I should turn the lamp on. Hang on. Ooh. Try not to show you my legs because no one wants to see that. I have this thing about my legs. I'm very self-conscious. I might get tattoos down there at some point. Um, we'll see. Try and take some ownership over my body, you know. So, yes. Um, well, I travelled back today. I woke up at about 11. Got my uh, first train home at 20 past 12. And actually got back here about half four. So it took just over four hours. I had to get a uh, replacement bus service. So I had to get the train from Tamworth to Nuneaton, replacement bus to, to um, Leamington Spa. Then the, my train from there was canceled. So I had an hour and 20 minutes there. So I went to a, hey Biggie. So I went to a pub for a couple of pints. Biggie's missed me. So he's very meowy at the moment. So I had a couple of pints in that pub and then finally got back. Um, and as I say, I started painting when I got back. Cause I've been looking forward to tackling it. You know, I want to, I want to have my office done. Might even try and get my office done by the end of the year, we'll see. Um, not that much to do. And get the most of it done anyway. So we will see uh, how that how that um, goes on. Uh, reading wise, I finished reading uh, Shrine by James Herbert. That was a four out of five. Then I read Fluke, which was a 3.5 out of five. Some people would like it more than others. In some ways it reminded me of, of, uh, of, of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. Um, it's kind of a cross between that and War Horse um, by fucking what's his name? Hey Google, who wrote War Horse? I should know, I've read it. Michael Morpurgo wrote That's War the Horse. one. Yeah, I've read a few of his books. Um, and the reason it reminded me of that, I don't know where the cat even is. The reason it reminded me of that is because um, it was written from the point of view of a dog. Except basically it was a human who'd been reincarnated as a dog. He had some unfinished business. Um, quite short though, which was a blessing. So as I say, 3.5 out of 5. Fairly weak, but I mean, you know, James Herbert at his worst is still better than most at their best. Uh, has a lot of, uh, he has that in common with a lot of other authors that I, uh, that I enjoy. So yes, um, finished reading that. And then I read, um, I read my buddy read with Joel Swagman, The Wizard of Oz. It was um, TikTok of Oz. I read that early. I'm actually not supposed to start reading it until a week today. Um, but basically I just happened to have it. And because I'd left Domain here by James Herbert, which I've started carrying on with now, because I was about a third of the way through that, I'm really enjoying it. So my other choice was I had um, Alias Grace by Margaret Atwood and Billy Summers by Stephen King. So I had both of those ready to go. But I didn't want to start reading another long book knowing that I'd got Domain waiting for me because I wanted to finish off uh, reading that. So yeah, back onto Domain. Um, oh, TikTok of ours was like a, probably a four out of five. A weak one again, but it was it was pretty good. So a review of that coming soon. I read that pretty much in one go. So according to my Goodreads now, Biggie's Big just jumped up next to me. He's going into, going into the window, aren't you, Biggs? So according to my Goodreads, I need to read two more books by the end of the year to have achieved my goal of a book a day. Obviously, Domain will be one, and I'm not sure if I'm going to finish another one, so I'm probably going to listen to an audiobook of a Goosebumps book just to tick one more book off, just so that I can achieve that goal. Um, but the other big goal that I've got on at the moment is trying to keep my currently reading list below 20 books, and I believe at the moment I'm bang on 20. Might even be on 19. Um, now, I do have some more books to um, come soon, and I have this Amazon voucher that I need to redeem. I accidentally scratched off the actual voucher code. So, yeah, that was a bit of a, a pisser. But yeah, I've got this uh, Amazon voucher um, to spend, so I'll probably ring up tomorrow and try and get that sorted. I've got two phone calls tomorrow. Other than that, I mean, I should unpack at some point, but I want to keep doing my painting as much as possible. So... We'll uh, we'll see how that goes. I'll update you soon. I also need to go and actually I need to format a video ready for release today. I try and release every day at 6 p.m. and it's currently five past seven, and I haven't had one released today. But I do have some videos uploaded that are good to go, um, and I need to edit tomorrow's radio show as well. So I'm gonna go and crack on with that. 
Biggie, 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 can't you see? Sometimes your words just hypnotise me. You gonna say hello? Say hello to everybody. No, busy, busy looking, busy looking down there. Busy looking down there. Biggie, should we open one of your Christmas presents? Come on then, let's open a Christmas present. What's this? Oh, I think I know what this is. I think I know what this is, Biggie. Do you know what this is? Let's put this here. What's this then? Oh, thank you, Grandma. Or is this, this might be great grandma, I think. I think this is a great grandma. <gasps> Biggie. <gasps> Look at this. Look at this. <gasps> yes, we're not gonna, we're not gonna open that one though because you have lots of treats here already, don't you? You got loads. There was another one in that bag. Look. Give you a tasty stick. Oh, hello, Mr. Purr. Hello. Come on in. Oh, close. Hello, everybody. If you can hear a noise in the background, it's Biggie's cat thing. Annoyingly, he didn't set it off. It was me that set it off. He's busy in the tasty stick that I just showed you. Uh, should wait for this to finish, shouldn't I? Okay, right, that is all updated now. So, it is currently 25 past 9 on uh, Wednesday the 29th of December. Um, I guess we're just going to roll this over and do a, a two-week vlog, and then we get Christmas and the New Year in the same vlog. Uh, the reason I haven't filmed, well, in part because I haven't, like, I haven't finished unpacking from when I got back home. I got back home two days ago. Um, but what I did do is decorate this room. So I took everything down, painted it all, um, and then put everything back, or put most things back. There are still some bits. I'll show you, look, hence this stuff on the floor, this needs sorting, but I did all the walls. And then up here we've got my guitars, a little bit of indoor garden. Those bits need to go up somewhere. That corner's all done. Uh, and then I've got some new plants up there as well. You can see as well I painted uh, that red stripe is new. I am gonna try and tidy that up, so I've got some rulers coming to try and help me tidy that up. Uh, and then up there as well, I've got my map of Mallory Rock from the Hunter Killer box. So those books there need to go back up there. And there's a few other bits that need doing. I need to sort that out as well. And I need to, um, I've got all these cables. So I need to sort through all of my cables. I've got like cable ties to tie them up and make it just a lot neater and easier for me to find stuff. I mean, I still have like um, Christmas presents to, to open, so I should probably do those before it's January. I'm sort of slowly but surely chipping away at them. I've just spotted my tattoo and that's reminded me I'm getting a new tattoo next Wednesday. So it's gonna be on the back of my arm on that little bit of space there. Um, and it's gonna be the Grim Squeaker, which is the death of rats from Terry Pratchett's Discworld. So that's exciting. Um, I have been doing some work as well, even though I have been redecorating and doing this, this work as well. Um, I've got this big tax bill coming up, but I think I should be able to afford it. I mean, I've got rent coming soon as well, so we will see. But I got paid today, and that was all right, and I'll get paid again next Wednesday. Books-wise, so I think last time I chatted to you when I was in Tamworth, um, I was reading, well I finished reading Shrine by James Herbert, that was a solid 4 out of 5, did enjoy. Um, and then I read Fluke, which was like a 3.5 out of 5, um, I think I did talk about this because I said it was a bit, it reminded me a bit of um, of Mice and Men. Um, it got a bit of that and a bit of War Horse by Michael Morpurgo. Um, and it's basically about a dog that thinks he's a man or a man that thinks he's a dog. And it's got some like reincarnation and all this stuff going on. The problem is I don't really enjoy stories that are told from the point of view of animals. I love animals. I just, I, I've never liked that as a trope in storytelling for whatever reason. So I didn't get on with that particularly well. I mean, it was all right. So yeah, like 3.5 out of 5. Probably my least favorite James Herbert so far. Over here, 
I read TikTok of Oz, uh, so I read most of this in a pub and the rest of the, this on the train home. Because on my way back, one of the train, well there was a rail replacement and then one of the trains got cancelled. So I had an hour and a half stuck in Leamington Spa, so I just went to the pub and, and read this. Full review of this coming soon, because this is a buddy read, that, ha biggie, that um, I've done with Joel Swagman. I actually read it ahead of time and he's just emailed me. And he just emailed me to let me know actually there was a short story collection that we were supposed to read it before this. So I've asked him if we can just swap those round. Because um, he's basically, we're reading through them in like chronological order, but he has a bind up of the collected stories of ours, even though it's not all of them. Um, and that includes one that wasn't published or was published, but not in this order or whatever it is. So anyway, so we're going to do that soon, but I need to order some more Oz books. Um, I'm actually now down to 19 books currently reading. I finished reading Domain by James Herbert. It was a week four out of five. It was like, it looked for a little while as though it was going to potentially be one of my books of the year. And then it just, it lost itself a bit, I think. Um, I mean, it had like Nuclear Armageddon and Giant Killer Rats, which are two things which I do enjoy. Um, but yeah, as I said, I think it just lost itself a little bit. And now I'm reading Billy Summers by Stephen King, which was a Christmas present from my mum. I'm going to try and re read two audio books before the end of the year. So I'm probably going to do two Goosebumps books. Um, because I want to get my 365 books in a year read, so I, I need to tick off a couple of extra books. Um, I've also been watching the uh, the new Adams Family uh, from 1998, um, which I guess is a remake of the original Adams Family because a lot of the episodes are pretty much the same plots. Um, but it's been enjoyable so far. I'm like eight episodes in of about 70 odd. Um, and I've been watching Die Hard as well because it's like a Christmas tradition, I guess. I've watched the whole series. So I watched Die Hard one earlier and I've just put Die Hard 2 on. I've also really done rather a lot of editing um, to the point at which now I don't actually, I have editing left to do, um, but I don't have much I can do to accompany myself while I edit because I normally like respond to YouTube comments and format uploads and all of this stuff and all of that's now done I have a bunch of books to list on eBay, but I've reached my selling limit They actually keep dropping my selling limit now, so I can't list anything else on eBay for the foreseeable future um, So I don't know what we're gonna do about that. Do you know what we're gonna do about that biggie? No, I don't know So we're gonna see um but yeah, I have a few other bits and bobs to, to do, and uh, lots of filming to do as well. So I think, let's have a look here. To film. Um, oh, I've got a new song to record, so I want to do that. Um, I need to record Like a Rolling Stone in G um, for a collab with Al from Weird Hard Books and Classics. So I actually need to get the chords for that. I used to do it occasionally, but I found it hard to sing. But um, I'll give it a go. What else we got? Shout outs to film, an episode of the radio show, my Q4 favourites, my year favourites, my vlog, which I'm just doing now, here we go. Wrap up, uh, finish my Nietzsche review, f do my Oz review, finish my Roald Dahl review, um, and I guess I'm going to review this Stephen King novel as well, so I'll just add that to my list. So what's that? That's 11 things to film after I'm done here with you guys, um, but two of them I can't do because it involves making noise. And as I say, it's, it's now 20 to 9 at night. So I'm off to go and do that, to go and do a bit more filming and to be a little bit more productive. Yo, okay, it is, um, what is it? It's 25 past seven on uh, Thursday, Thursday the 30th of January. If uh, my lighting looks better, it's because it is. I treated myself to something new. I don't know how well this is gonna show up on camera, but so that's the previous light. I just had that one light. Here's my desk in front of me. And now I have this one over here and it's a very pretty like old fashioned style light. Let me turn it off quickly. There you go. So it's very nice. So now I have three point, uh, two point lighting. So that won't be just one side of my face in shadow now. Let's try this out. See what the difference is like. We ready? We ready? And yeah. See now I look healthy ish anyway so i am just being bathed by my two spheres of light what's new i've been i've been reading billy summers by stephen king it's very good on course for a four maybe even a 4.5 out of five other than that there's not a lot to tell you that lamp was expensive by the way it was 
Well, it was 79 quid and then I spent an extra fiver getting a bulb for it, but I can put it off as a business expense. And also it's like, it just looks cool in the room as well when it's not in use, so that's nice. Um, and yeah, so I'm pretty happy I got that. I've just been to the shop. Uh, you can actually see I'm a little bit sweaty from the walk. So I went to the shop to get uh, basil. Right, so my mum gave me these to bring home, which was this, like this thing of walnuts. Um, and I can tell that she's previously stored banana in this pot because it tastes like banana. So I figure I'm going to use these to make this sort of basil pesto with walnuts. It'd be well nice. I made it before. So that's going to be my dinner. Um, I've got some fruit juice here. That's basically my plan. I don't have really much else to update you on. Um, I'm going to do some more filming this evening. I've been watching some more Die Hard. Um, yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to go crack on with that. Hello everybody. It is currently quarter past eight on the evening of Friday the 31st of December. So it's New Year's Eve. Um, from where I'm sitting in the office I can see fireworks. So I'm happy with that. I, d I don't do New Year's Eve so I'm not going out. I'm just staying in and working and being productive. Ah, uh, sorry, just thirsty there. Um, yeah, I mean, I did think about it. I was like, I could go to my friend Dave's house and play some guitar or something, but I, I can't really be bothered. He's going to the uh, Sunday Jam this Sunday at the Bellevue anyway, so I might go to that. But we'll see, because earlier this year there was a, um, a, a COVID outbreak there, so it doesn't exactly fill me with confidence and make me want to go, you know? Anyway, um, editing and stuff is all going well. I'm just rendering out some last few videos now. I'm actually watching some videos of myself playing guitar because I have to give them like a proof watch before I post them in the open mics like Facebook group where I post like one a day. Uh, I film myself doing um, like a Rolling Stone by Bob Dylan in G. Rather, I normally do it in C, but I wanted to do it in G. So, <laughs> okay, totally different key. I'm trying to synchronize some stuff across from my Dropbox as well, but it's going... I mean, it's just stuck saying syncing, basically. I don't know what it's on. I'm having a bit of a mad one, to be honest. So I don't know. I might need to, I might need to um, restart my computer to get that to work. I've tried restarting Dropbox, but that's how I copy all my files over. So it means until that works, there's no new files on my laptop, which uh, on my Mac, sorry, which is probably good because I mean, I'm trying to, I'm currently trying to make some space for when all these start syncing over, They're like 51 gigabytes, which is probably about the size of the folder that's um, synchronizing. But then I need a bit of extra space as well just to actually function. And there needs to be some space to export stuff to. Yeah, so there's 59.7 gigabytes to copy over, so I still need another eight gigs from somewhere. Um, but you know, I'm doing some more editing now, so that'll, uh, that'll go through it all. Books wise, I'm still reading Billy Summers. It's still very good. Uh, in here, I've now mostly finished doing the studio. Um, there's this little bookcase here next to me, so that needed a sort, but that's now done. Uh, what else is there? There's a pile of crap on the floor behind me, so I just need to sort through that pile. I need to take that tinsel down off the um, off the stairs. The stairs need painting, actually. I also need to go around the tops of that red and just, you can kind of see on the camera where it's not 100% uh, smooth. So I've got a ruler now, so I can hopefully get up there with that ruler and use that to tidy up the lines a bit. So those are the next two big jobs. I also have some books that need alphabetizing. Oh, and I need to empty my office bin. But that's about it, isn't it, Bix? That's about it. And then with that, that's upstairs, the entirety of upstairs, the office and the bedroom done. I have also finished the bathroom downstairs, so that just leaves the kitchen and the living room. And then when it gets a bit warmer, there's plenty of stuff I need to be doing in the garden, lots of stuff to be planting. Um, and I'm also going to hopefully like whitewash the walls, um, paint the front door, paint the fences out there, just to make it a little bit more cosy. But you know, we're doing well, we're doing pretty well. So that's where we're at. Hello everybody, it is me. It is currently, what is it? Is it Friday or Saturday? I don't even know. It is Saturday the 1st of January, 2022. So welcome to a new year. Uh, I, I didn't go to bed till about 8 a.m. and then slept in until the afternoon, so there's that. I'm still reading Billy Summers, still enjoying it. Gonna probably read Alias Grace by Margaret Atwood next. Uh, my friend Sabrina came back uh, today from spending Christmas away, so um, hopefully see her probably next week for some vegan food and board games. I might go and see Dave on Sunday, uh, so tomorrow at the Sunday Jam at um, the Bellevue, but we'll see because 
COVID and all that. I, I'm just not getting good vibes about going out at the moment, to be honest. Earlier today, I was in this proper mood for a curry, so I, I whipped up a curry. I was a tofu and mushroom curry. I made some fresh onion salad to go with it. Had some poppadoms, mango chutney, all the works. That was delicious. Um, I'm now a little bit food comery, not gonna lie. I'm doing my best to like, I think I've got a bit of a stomach ache coming as well because I have IBS and it goes hand in hand with my anxiety. And basically, if I eat, I get a stomach ache. And if I don't eat, I get a stomach ache. So you can imagine how fun that is to deal with. Um, the bits in between are kind of okay. So, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Um, I mean, I guess, I kind of that's why I kind of tell myself, I mean, I might as well eat. Because I've got to eat at some point, and I'm going to have a stomach ache whether I eat or not. So I might as well just eat, have the stomach ache, and then I'll feel okay for a bit. Rather than if I put off eating, I'll just have the stomach ache until I eat. You know, but it's kind of hard to cook sometimes when you feel like doubling over with a hot water bottle. In fact, the only reason I don't have a hot water bottle now is because I am too hot. I've also got my new little pendanty thing around my neck. So that's nice. So uh, yeah. So that's where we're at. I'm just doing a bit of filming now. I actually have a new song to film, uh, to record, um, which I guess I've probably left too late now. I don't know, I could do it. Can't really be asked. I'll do it tomorrow, maybe, or Monday. Um, and I guess I'll do a little bit of work as well, but I don't have a huge amount on. In fact, I currently have just two things on my work to-do list, which is a nice problem to have because normally I'm like drowning in work. So um, yeah, I'll crack, crack, crack on today and tomorrow. Might even get to the point at which on Monday I'm kind of waiting for stuff to come in. In which case, it's nice. I can start doing some more housework and redecoration and stuff like that. Um, and my clean is coming on Tuesday as well. So yeah, that's where we're at. I'm going to go and do some more, more filming. He's sleeping. Shh, don't disturb. Oh no, he opened his eye. He's awake. He's awake. He can hear us. Ah. Uh, hey, fangy, fangy. Fangy Fangy, look at those little paws. Look at those little paws. Look at him. Oh, oh he's so cute. Hello, it's me. It is about five past seven on Sunday the 2nd of December. Um, I've been recording this evening. In fact, I was just about to go and do some more and my computer has crashed. So I'm waiting for it to restart. Um, also, I finally fixed Dropbox, so that's all good. I can go back to copying stuff over to my Mac so I can start editing it. Um, so I probably need to do that this evening. I need to think about what next week's radio show is going to be. It might be the first time since I started doing it nearly two years ago that we just have to repeat a show. Because I have a few that are almost ready, but both of them are going to take quite a lot of work. And I've got to get them done for Sunday. I don't know, we'll see. But as I say, in the meantime, I'm currently recording that new song. Um, so I've done lead vocals and guitar, so I need to do all of the rest. I need to figure what other instruments are going to go on it. Um, I've got a little bit of my Stephen King uh, review to film, like a couple more tabs that I've made. Still reading it. I'm about 120 pages from the end now, still very much enjoying it, so that is good. And as I said before, uh, I'll probably pick up Alias Grace by Margaret Atwood next. Uh, I made curry yesterday, that was delicious. Just been tidying and stuff today. I did a lot of sleeping actually, I've been very tired. So the next major things, I guess Tuesday, I've got a call at 5 p.m. with one client, which will probably take two hours. And then an interview at 7 p.m. And then Sabrina might be coming over, but we'll see because I didn't realize I had the 7 p.m. call. So <laughs> we'll see about that. Um, and then Wednesday I'm getting my tattoo. And then it's also launch day for JV Hilliard's book, The Last Keeper. So I'm doing a live stream with him. Um, so we've got that as well on Wednesday. And then I think I can take it easy again for a couple days. So that's where we're at. But anyway, I think that's a pretty good place to leave this vlog as it's been a couple weeks now. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if, if, if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more. Hit that like button, etc. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.